surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Just encourage you to take a few moments to allow that idea to sink into your consciousness as we prepare ourselves to come together this morning and unite our consciousness in prayer. In prayer and in meditation. Just to generate that spiritual energy that reminds us that we are much more than we generally think of ourselves as being. And also to remind ourselves that there is a power that is greater than the individual self or our collective selves. That universal power that we call God. That energy that heals us, that transpires us, that transforms us. It infills us. And that truly reminds us that we are connected one to another and to everything else in this world that we live in. And remind us also that that connection, that thread of life that runs through us is eternal. And multiple generations have energized that thread that exists for us here today. And so as we connect with one another and with the world at large, in these next few moments of quietness and solitude, we are doing our part to transform the energy on the planet and in particular in these United States. So again, I want to invite you to take a deep breath and just kind of hold on to it for a few seconds and let it go. Remind yourself to relax the body. And then remind yourself to slow the mind down. Just temporarily set aside the busyness of the day. All the things you have to do for the upcoming week. Just be fully present to the quietness and to the stillness. Just breathing and relaxing. No worries, no concerns. There's only the holy now.
Let it all go. So we give thanks for the love, for the life, for the reality that is always present within each one of us. And we also give thanks for these moments of connectivity that remind us of our universality, that we are all one. So in the name and the nature of the one, we are grateful. And so it is. And amen.